In the Curiosity Show, Dean will show you how to float into the action, and he'll show. Well, it's a hovercraft. Looks a bit like a boat, and in fact, the hull is made of fiberglass, the same stuff that's used in making many boats. But it's a hovercraft, neither a boat nor a plane. As the name implies, it hovers on a cushion of air. It's sometimes called an air cushion vehicle, or ACV. This particular one has two engines. One up the front drives a fan under there, which pushes air down underneath the hull, and that's what gives it its lift. It also has another engine back here. That's connected to two fans, which push air out the back and provide the thrust. The air goes out through these aluminium cylinders and it's pushed out quite rapidly. In fact, for those who are interested in engines, these are 50 horsepower two-stroke engines. A little bit more powerful than the average lawnmower engine and in fact this is the same sort of engine that's used on a snowmobile or an ultralight aircraft. Well, this is one of the hovercraft belonging to the members of the Hovercraft Club of South Australia. This one belongs to Richard, and it's a real speed machine. It can actually move at more than 100 kilometres an hour. Here's another one that's a little bit more sedate, and maybe it's prettier. This one belongs to Bruno. As you can see, the hull is almost identical, but it has just one engine and one fan here at the back, and that engine provides both the lift and the thrust. If you look behind the fan, you can see a horizontal plate. That's called the splitter plate. What that does is to send some of the air down underneath the vehicle, that provides the lift. The rest of the air goes out through the back of the cylinder and provides the thrust. Once again, the driver sits in this position here and operates these handlebars. Now, as you can see, when I turn the handlebars, that turns two rudders at the back. So it directs the flow of air out through the back of the fan and I can steer it. Now, if I want to stop moving forward and just hover in one position, I take hold of a lever here, I press the knob on the end and then pull it. Can you see what that's doing at the back? It's actually closing a couple of things that look like Venetian blinds. Those are called the thrust spoilers and I think you can see why. If I close them all the way, it means there'll be no air going through the back of the fan cylinder. The air only goes down underneath. So it's still hovering in position, it's not moving forward. If I want to go forward, I just press the plunger down and air goes out the back. Once again, I move forward. Well, that's a very neat hovercraft, and it also has something around the outside which is vitally important to all hovercraft. It's uh, little pieces of nylon, and it's called, for obvious reasons, a skirt. Can you guess what that does? It actually holds the cushion of air together and enables the vehicle to stay upright without losing all of its air. 